Hello everybody, welcome back to WorldCom Edu Easy Story House Series. How are you today? My name is Brian Stewart. In this group storytelling project, we're taking a look at different stories, 25 different world famous stories from English literature. Actually, of course, these stories have many different sources and different countries, so the original story may have been in a different language, but these stories are very commonly learned or read by kids in English environments. And many of them, of course, are very old and they're very famous around the world. Um, in this group storytelling project, the kids will take part of the story and they will read it from the book or from memory, which is a great way to practice. It's a great way to learn new vocabulary and to practice that vocabulary in commonly used expressions. Of course, all the stories are presented in easy to understand English and at a good level for the students to manage. As an added bonus, each of these stories has a life lesson or a moral to them. So hopefully the students can pick up some important ideas or some important philosophy about how to live a good life. And that's what we have here today as well. We have the story, The Elves and the Shoemaker. Now this is an interesting story. It's about a shoemaker who gets some help from some magical elves. The shoemaker is very poor and he's not sure how he's going to continue uh, to be able to support himself and his wife, but he gets some help from some elves and other people as well. And the moral of the story, of course, is to always try to do better and always be thankful for the assistance that other people give us. That's a very good lesson to learn. Well, let's find out what happens with the shoemaker and how is this lesson learned. Let's take a look. They are either kind shoemaker. He has a kind wife. They are very kind, but poor. Every day, shoemaker makes shoes. He lays out his ladder. He draws different shapes, shoe shapes. He cuts them out, then he saws them together. The shoemaker works hard, but his shoes aren't so pretty. So no one buys his shoes. Soon the shoemaker runs out of money. The shoemaker can't buy any more leather. He only has enough money to buy one pair of shoes. So he lays out his leather. He throws a special shoe shape. Then he cut it out. The shoemaker young. He leaves the letter on the table. He says, I'm so tired. I can saw this tomorrow. Early next morning, the shoemaker goes downstairs. He stops in surprise. He says, Am I dreaming? A perfect pair of shoes is on his table. They are so pretty with bright buckles. The shoemaker wonders. He says, who? How? He saw his shoes to his wife. He, she says they are lovely. She puts the shoes in the window. Soon a rich gentleman comes in. He says, these shoes are perfect for me. The shoe make the rich gentleman buy the shoes. He gives them a gold coin. 
the shoemaker and his wife are so happy. Now, now the shoemaker、um, can buy more letters. He has enough money to buy two, to buy two pairs of shoes. He lays out of let. He lays out his letter. He draws different shoe shapes. Then he cuts them out. The shoemaker is tired. He says, "I can finish them tomorrow." But by morning, the shoes are ready. Two perfect pairs of shoes are on the table. This time, this time they have fancy boots. The shoemaker wonders again. He says, "It's magic." The wife. The wife puts the shoes in the window. Soon, two rich ladies come in. They say, "They says these shoes are perfect for me." Two, the rich ladies buy the shoes. Buy the shoes. They each give them a gold coin. Every morning, every morning, the shoemaker wakes up and finds beautiful shoes on his table. The shoemaker and his wife become rich. Everyone, their shoes are pretty, very pretty. Everyone buys their shoes now. The shoemaker and his wife are very happy. One day, the shoemaker looks at his wife. He says, "Do you think Angel make our shoes?" His wife answers, "I don't know, but let's find out." That night, they stay awake. They hide in a corner of the workshop. Everything is quiet un- until midnight. Two little elves ra- in red running. Two little elves in red running. They saw the red rock quickly and quietly. The first elf says. The shoemaker and his wife are kind. The second elf says, "Yes, I'm happy. We can have them." The elf finished the last pair of shoes. Then they disappear, disappear through the door. The shoemaker and his wife were surprised. They want to thank the elves. The shoemaker says, "How can we thank our two helpers?" His wife says, "Let's make them some nice clothes." The wife makes little shorts of the for the elves. The shoemaker makes two little pairs of shoes. The next, the shoemaker puts the clothes and shoes on the table. <coughs> the elves come and see their new clothes and shoes. They put them on and dance. The elves dance outside and down the street. The shoemaker and his wife smile. Their magic carpets are gone. But now they can make pretty shoes too.